Welcome to the ICA Thermal Imaging course. In addition to gaining all of the necessary knowledge to use thermal imaging technology when performing a home inspection, graduates will also learn about different types of thermal imaging cameras and equipment. The following video is a brief three-minute sample of our thermal imaging course. So our next one is going to be conduction. And again, like everybody knows these things, a lot of people, you know, they, they just you know, you got to put it all together, you know, and conduction, just really any solid surface, you know, um, and some things conduct better than others, but, and we're not talking about electricity, we're talking about heat, and, uh, you know, some are better insulators than others, and we'll get to, you know, conductors and insulators here a little bit later, but uh, pretty much anytime you have a, a solid surface and you have heat transference through that solid surface, that's our conduction. And so you see that conduction here in the image below. We have a floor heating system. This is going to be our probably like our HE PEX with a, a heated fluid, probably just recirculated from one of the water heaters or maybe a boiler. But it's actually, uh, you know, and we'll, that's our convection, which we'll talk about here in a second. But, you know, uh, the, the heat that's getting conducted through that pipe and then through the solid surfaces of that floor. It's actually radiating out to our imager, and that's what we're seeing. So, uh, to put it all together, it, you know, we haven't gotten a convection, but the fluid is being convected through that uh, the the liquid state of what whether it, it's water or something else, and conducted through the pipe, conducted through the floor, and then radiated out to our imager. And here we go. This is convection. This is our last type of heat transfer. And this is pretty much any type of fluid, whether it's a gas or it's a liquid, both are technically a fluid. So, you know, um, the air in your oven, the air in your house, it's all convected, you know. Um, and even when just, you know, the slide right before this, we are looking at the heated floor system that's convected fluid going through that, that pipe there. And, uh, that, you know, of course that's convected through conduction and then radiated out. And remember, we can only see the radiated portion, but because we know how that system is designed to work, we can deduce that it's radiation via conduction convection. So here, um, this is actually a really interesting photo and you're gonna see this quite a bit. This is actually kind of a, a, a big problem, especially when we get into air conditioning and not so much you know heating the air, but this one's actually heated air. So down in the below photo, we have a, a supply register and it's heated air going through that. And that's a poorly sealed register. Um, you really don't want to have too much of that conditioned air dispersed through the drywall or whatever, um, whatever the ceiling is made out of, especially when you get into air conditioning is when that, that cooler air gets in contact with that, that drywall or plaster, it's going to condense you know, it's going to condense the water vapor that's in the air, especially if it's a poorly built or an older home that has moisture in the air. And then you're going to end up with moisture related problems in that area. But this one just shows our heat and you can see that heat. It's a, uh, it's convected through the air then conducted through that, that solid uh, ceiling surface and then radiated out to the image that we can see here. If you like what you heard here and would like to enroll in our course, just go to www.icaschool.com or call us at 888-374-4096. We have unlimited support and are here to help you every step of the way.